It will be 20 years Saturday since the terrorist attacks on 9-11 that changed history. This week, people are finding their own ways to remember the victims. One man in rural Clark County has been honoring the victims every day for 20 years. His homemade memorial is in a quiet patch of woods just outside Athens. John Sherrick tells us how this simple tribute has impacted so many. There are no signs for it anywhere along the country roads of rural Clark County. It's in the woods off of a dead end street about 10 miles outside of Athens. Yet somehow for the past 20 years, people from across the country have heard about it, searched for it and found their way to Bob Hart's simple, rustic, personal prayer of love for all those killed on 9-11. I'm glad that I did it because it has meant a lot to people. Bob Hart didn't know at first that anyone was visiting, but then one day he saw a bouquet of flowers beneath a name. And I just started to cry. So Bob Hart decided to leave a guest book for visitors to sign, and it has become a diary. 20 years long of visitors pouring out their hearts to Bob Hart, thanking him. A beautiful memorial, writes one woman. I was nine years old when my dad was killed in the World Trade Center. His name is on the pole. Thank you so much. God bless you. It was a difficult walk. I had to explain to my five-year-old that day in history that led me to enlist. I don't want these people to be forgotten. We, we lost people who had families who loved them. Betty Dingle's son, Jeffrey Dingle. He was my joy. He was my friend. He was everything. Adam White, Shelby White's son. Bob Hart says his memorial helps him realize we should all live and love passionately now. No promise of tomorrow. We need to realize that we have to protect ourselves from this happening again. And we have to realize that we need to live our lives, live our life to the fullest. The message this quiet memorial shouts to the heavens. What a phenomenal story from John Sherrick. Talk about a hidden treasure in our community. And we've seen some very touching tributes to the victims all across the metro. And we want to see how you are remembering 9-11.